These answer choices are very clearly pronouns, so we have another pronoun question. It's actually the second one in this passage. So we need to think, well, what's the rule about pronouns? We need to memorize that pronoun questions are generally about singulars and plurals, right? So we can look at these choices. We can see that uh, A is singular, one, obviously singular. Uh, he or she is actually singular as well. Um, it's We use it when we don't know the gender of the person that we're talking about, but it's still one person. They is plural and it is singular. It we usually use for objects or animals, things that don't have a gender that are just, you know, inanimate, but it's still singular. Um, okay, well, what, you know, what are we matching with, right? That's the key here is, is this is supposed to match with something else in the sentence so that we understand whether we're supposed to use singular or plural has to do with what we're replacing, uh, what noun we're replacing with, uh, the pronoun with. Um, so it says, uh, with the aid of a CT scanner and a 3D printer, they were able to produce a resin model of the fossil. Examining the model, the researchers determined that blank had found a new species, a 75 million year old crocodile. So there's two instances of this in the two sentences. They're clearly talking about multiple people, multiple researchers. So we need a plural pronoun to do that. That's it. It's that simple. A lot of people try to pick A here because they they think that the word one sounds fancier and smarter. It's almost always wrong. Don't use it in your own writing. It's very weird. So try to just use normal pronouns and your writing will be better. Um, and then remember too that B is a singular pronoun. So uh, I'll just give a quick a example here just so you kind of know how to use it. Um, a... Uh, uh, I'll switch it a little bit, but it's the same thing. Um, a teacher should help his or her students. Same, slightly different, but still the same idea, right? So this is singular because it's one teacher. We're not talking about a specific teacher, so that teacher doesn't have a gender, um, but it's still one teacher. So we would prefer to use the singular pronoun. The reason this is hard though is if I were talking, I'd probably say a teacher should help their students. So I'd use the plural pronoun and I'm not supposed to. And I know that there's a lot of things about pronouns changing in the world right now, but you know, as far as the SAT goes, this is, he or she is singular, they is plural. You, you wanna stick to those rules until we're instructed otherwise.